Phoenicia's Poet Laureate Program it promotes the importance of poetry in daily life in our community, and it has done so successfully for 14 years now. Poet Laureates are appointed by the Library Board of Trustees. Each laureate brings particular initiatives forward so that over time, you see the variety and depth of how poetry can play a role in Venetia. Mary Susan Gast, Venetia's eighth Poet Laureate, is a poet, theologian, human rights advocate, and musician. A resident of Venetia for more than two decades, she lived her first 18 years on a small farm outside the tiny town of Baroda, Michigan. She picked up advanced academic degrees from Michigan State University and the Chicago Theological Seminary. Her less formal education took place in Zambia, Samoa, Russia, China, South Africa, Washington, D.C., and the piney woods of Mississippi. She has worked as an assembly line worker, community organizer, pastor, nonprofit executive director, and bishop, and of course, poet. Her social commentaries, as well as her poetry and music, have appeared regularly in periodicals and randomly in collections. Please welcome Venetia's eighth poet laureate, Mary Susan Gast. Mary Susan, this is your time to introduce yourself a bit more and read a poem or two for the council and all those listening or watching the meeting. Thank you so much for that introduction. And it truly is an honor to stand in this line of Poets Laureate for Venetia as number eight. Uh, it's also more than an honor. The Poet Laureate has responsibilities, which uh, I see primarily as weaving poetry into the fabric of the life of this community. It's that public art thing again. You're going to hear that a lot tonight, I think. And it also involves uh, encouraging those who have poetry in their hearts and have not yet, ex yet expressed it to give voice to that. So we're doing all of those kinds of things. Uh, on Sunday afternoon, the uh, library hosted a, an event to kind of inaugurate me as Poet Laureate number eight for Venetia. And as part of that event, I invited people to bring a zip ode. Now, a zip ode is a poem dedicated to a town or city. And it is a five line poem uh, based on the most unpoetic aspect of any town's identity, its zip code. So for Venetia, for example, you would have 94510. The first line would have nine words, the second four, the third five, the fourth one. And then because there's a zero, there would be something expressive on the Zoom screen. A number of people there wrote about Venetia, including our mayor. But I want to read one of them to you tonight. This was from a 13-year-old who was present at the meeting. And he wrote, Venetia is a town filled with the nicest people, always willing to help. You only need to ask, Venetia. I want to thank you as council members, and I want to thank the community of Venetia for making Venetia this kind of town that a 13-year-old would write about and making it the place that it is that fosters all aspects of our lives, a lot of that through arts and culture, poetry, and just the way things are set up so that life can be well lived here. I appreciate it. Two poems of my own that I would like to share with you uh, about Venetia. The first is, uh, well, it's uh, based on a painting by Judith Kunzel, but it's based, that painting is based on an iconic image of Venetia. It's in the poster that we've all seen one time or another. Uh, the view from Arneson Park. They're on West I Street, where there is the uh, kind of decrepit pier leading to what I think was a fishing shack. This is the view from Artisan Park. This is no bridge over troubled waters. 
it spans no chasm, connects no divide. Splayed and rickety, the struts cannot support the weight of our footfalls. But they are proud and enticing, stepping high like egrets or a New Orleans second line. They lure us to strut with them, with black skimmer birds fluttering and ready to provide escort, goading us to desert the splendid isolation of the bluff for the dynamic estuary that connects us to the give and take of the timeless tide. One of the things that poetry does, I think, is look below the surface of events, look, looks below the surface of things we see in order to surface some other meanings that might connect us more closely to one another. In that spirit, I wrote a poem way back in 2015 called Venetia, Our Home. And since then, the poem has been edited and expanded and set to music and recorded as a video. A number of you, I think, were part of the singing of that and are part of the video, which will be released. It will have its grand premiere when we are able to gather physically together again. Meanwhile, the thoughts still hold for me about Benicia, our home, as I wrote it back in 2015. Close by the water, up through the hillsides, sunshine and fog grace abundant green trees, flowering plant life, shimmering birds flight, mark our days here in Venetia, our home. With many traditions from many perspectives, like reeds in the marshland, our roots intertwine Growing together, community prospers. Build for tomorrow, Venetia, our home. I look forward to being on that journey with you all toward tomorrow, toward a tomorrow that is more open to all of us to create Venetia as our home. Thank you so much. Thanks, Mary Susan. I want to thank David Dodd for a lovely introduction. We had quite a discussion about, is this an introduction? Is this an action of appointment? So we did some research on this. But I also want to mention that one of the uh, women in our community who I consider a Renaissance woman introduced you, this is Mary Eichbauer, and she introduced you on Sunday. And I thought it was interesting that she was introducing another Renaissance woman. You cover all all the elements, the art, artistry, if you will, the creativity, the intellectual sincerity of cause. And um, it's just amazing that we have so many people like you and Mary in our community. And it makes me very hopeful for the future and respecting what you are bringing. So the tradition is, is that we ask that you provide poems for events uh, at the city. Sometimes they're very sad events um, and sometimes they're uplifting events. And if you could do that in recognizing and just coordinate with me and, and the incoming mayor. So welcome and thank you so very much.